So we packed in enough time for question and answers. So if anybody has, you know, topic related questions for Gal that can potentially develop into a discussion, please let me know. We have two mics on each side of the room. Uh, just raise your hand and we'll give you a mic. Hello. Um, so Binance accepted uh, Bitcoin in Ethiopia. So is it legal, yeah or no? How does that work? Uh, good question. So I don't know. Somebody else has just asked me that. So the news, is, as far as I'm aware, is that peer-to-peer -peer activities, uh, which means so uh, and peer-to-peer -peer activities will be tracked and encouraged on the Binance platform. So what Binance has done within the past three weeks is they've created the Telegram group and they've invited me. I think there's about 200 members. Um, and so the idea is to get the activity going. So you'll have one person on one side has Bitcoin, on the other side has Ethiopian Bir. And Nazi freely, openly, trademark each Is this legal? I'm not sure. They haven't explicitly said it's illegal. They haven't explicitly said it's legal. Binance has announced it. I think they're already doing it. I mean, you know, if God said, say there you go. So um, now the interesting thing to, to remember here is when you're buying things in Ethiopia uh, that are you know, denominated in dollars, there is a premium, right? There's usually a 20 to 30% you know, black market premium, right? Same thing with the Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin is trading at you know, $50,000 $50, per coin in the United States, in Ethiopia, when it comes to peer to peer exchanges, most likely the seller of that Bitcoin is not going to sell it for any less than $50,000 plus a 30% premium, right? So that gets us at, you know, 65K or something like this, right? Um, so that's the only issue I see with peer to peer. Price is at a premium because you're working within the black market. Two, there's also an uh, issue of security. Um, how do you know that person will send? the Bitcoin right away, right? You might send it to their commercial bank account, and if there's some sort of you know, delay, is Binance responsible for that, right? I know they have some APIs with, with the banks and whatnot, so maybe they've solved that, but you know, peer to peer, um, it, there's always an issue of security, and, and uh, you know, you're dealing with people, right? What if they change their mind? What if the price goes up the next day and, and you know, X, Y, and Z? So um, it's good to see peer to peer markets and exchanges, an activity, but you know that's not the end game. The end game is to have a robust system with banks and you know everyone on board, uh, so we can all take you know uh, advantage of, of this opportunity. So peer to peer is an early step. It's a good step. Uh, is it a legal step? I'm not sure. I can't. I can't. You know, answer that for it. Try it out. <laughs> see what happens, <laughs> and uh, let me know. <laughs> okay. But if you have access to American accounts, just you know have a Coinbase account, Cash App. Easier. 